Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing a video on the update for Grand Cross that's going to be dropping tomorrow night. And I really wish Grand Cross would stop dropping it at the most random times. They used to drop it at 8pm, then 9pm because of the daylight savings, and then they would randomly drop it at midnight, 11pm, and now it's 11.30. Could you actually just drop a date and time for when we actually drop the, like, the content? It's so annoying because it's not like you update it on Twitter. So I don't, I can't get notifications, but as we already knew, we were getting sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video on if you should summon or not. Um, yeah, getting sorry, y'all. The ugliest outfits in all of Grand Cross, in my opinion. I, these are gross, but that's just my opinion. Um, uh, we're acquiring artifacts. Okay. Um, we're getting Merlin's relic, Grimoire's relic, and Hauser's relic. Um, I believe... I don't know if Grimoire's is only the SR one. I don't believe so, unfortunately, even though these are both pretty mid. Merlin's is actually pretty nice, and I will be showcasing that. Um, gem packs, etc., etc. The New Year 2022 Lucky Bag Bundle is actually kind of worth it. Um, it's like $5 or something, I believe, and it's it, it's a pretty decent bundle. Um, this, I don't realistically think is worth it all. I think it's like $30 or something. It's 100 hammers, but 100 hammers is literally nothing in my opinion. Uh, this might be worth it. It kind of depends on the price. If it's more than like $10, I don't really think so, but um, you can ask like more than 12 pieces of equipment at once. Oh, can you? How? How do you... Oh, you go up to 36 pieces. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, maximum number of enhancement stones. The enhancement stones are now going to 999 per stack, which is very, very nice. Um, okay, cool. I don't really care about that. Your next uh, affection reward will be displayed in the middle of the screen when you enter the affection page through heroes. Um, cool, I guess. Um, you can upload all the skills for the selected hero in the same pop-up. Uh, so you can see like the his counter card, I assume. Oh, I, I don't know why I thought I could click that. Um, new events. We're getting the new final boss, which uh, is honestly a terrible. It, it's one of the worst final bosses ever. Like, the rewards are absolute shit. Um, you can't get the costumes for the old units, like the Zelda or the Esterosa, if you missed out. You can't get it for this new melee. Or not new, but, like, for the melee. Um, it, it, it's just an overall really bad um, event. They need to revamp final balls entirely. Make it so we get the old cosmetics. Um, and then the people who already have it, obviously, just get the mat cosmetic material. It's genuinely not that hard especially because all these units are very outdated so there's no point in making it worth gems also oh my god that music is a bit too loud my bad and then we also get one free multi and you get one of these lucky bags from this you get three of them for free and then you can buy three of them i believe so there's that um we're getting the scrap hawk event which is pretty nice um it's not that hard realistically just go to the 450k in my opinion the hammers are nice and all that but honestly it's not worth the actual grind you have to go through um you do get ga uh, daily uh rewards so you know if you really want these you could definitely do all of these but obviously that's up to you i don't know if there's a cap on it or anything um da -da -da. i already have a video on this i don't really care Oh, they've actually, like, labeled this all out? Okay. Um, by the way, the recommended heroes are so dumb. Um, the best bo team for this is a Bond team. Like, you, you just use Bond. Um, Archangel takes less damage because, uh, like, humans, um, demons, and, um... Uh, Fairies literally almost get one shot, so unknown and archangels survive. But human with the Bond team, they're just absurd. So, yeah, uh... Yeah, that's basically all you have to know. Um, as you can see, the ratio for the uh things are absolutely stupid and they limited them i don't think jp limited these that is so dumb i could be wrong though but uh just get like the top 10 percent and just be done Th these are the, just the biggest scam of all time i hate this i hate all th everything about the final boss reward in my opinion or i guess just go to the gems or the yeah just the gems i didn't even do this i think i got to like here and i gave up on jp i just don't care enough um, goal achievement event mission, complete daily mission to get down with another rewards. Uh, okay, so they're increasing the, uh, daily rewards. So that way you actually play a little bit more instead of just playing one day and then never logging in because Grand Cross is absolutely dead. <coughs> um, the brawl box is being enhanced for a week or whatever. So now we're getting this, I think. Um, yeah, it's literally the exact same goddamn thing. Cool genuinely does not matter this i mean i guess if you need books for uh dark meliodas or trader melee that's good that's good 
Um, David Tass being upgraded again. Cool beans. Very nice, I guess. Um, new outfits coming back. The only ones I realistically recommend is getting the Dosiels if you're trying to max them out as a really good sublink. But other than that, it doesn't really matter because Zeldris is useless. Derriere is essentially useless. Melasco is 100% useless. Derriere at least has some use. Um, Gothard is actually pretty good, I guess, if you don't have all his outfits. But King and Bon, no. Just not worth it whatsoever. Um, I guess if you really, really like these units, you could definitely get them. But uh, I don't realistically know if it's worth. Let me just play this Dragon Ball OST, I guess. Um... I don't know. I think only Gothers and I guess Escalors is good. Merlin's true, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it's worth realistically. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be getting any of these. Yeah, no, I, I don't want any of these. Um, this is what you can get from the crates, by the way. Very, pretty good rewards overall, but God, dude, this right here, this and this just absolutely kills me. Like, I guess the affection is nice, I guess, but they should have just made it 100% great rewards all around. But no, <laughs> they threw this shit in, which is literally useless. This is useless. This is actually okay. Um, I don't mind these right here, but this is like what you mainly want. And then the uh, gems, you can get 25 gems. Um, this is pretty nice. You know, you get some pendants, which is I'm just going to do it once, get the pendants. I never do these. I don't even care. Don't care about chalices. And then we have the ending events. So we have some content coming. Uh, t uh, f the tower uh, that JP got should be coming next week. So we'll have a little bit of content there. Let me just scroll all the way up. Um, but yeah, I'll be having a video if you should summon for Sario. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care. Hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day. And best of luck if you do consider summoning. Um, the banner is actually insane. Um, before I actually leave, can I find the banner? Um, let me go to GC Database. I think they had the banner. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Is it? No, that's Sariel Skills. Uh, is this? No, that's not it. Well, anyways, basically what the banner was, it was it had Green Gother, Matrona, Brunhild, um, and then honestly I can't remember any of the other units, but they're really really good. Uh, so if you don't have those units, I think it is worth summoning. But you know, uh, there's a bit more to it than that. So uh, yeah, take care, peace out, and hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye bye.